Emergency market update. <laughs> Ethereum 2.0 is here. What's up, Moon Rats? I got something cheesy for you today. I'm Joey Pepperoni. Let's recap that crypto. The crypto market cap stays bearish for more than seven days. Will it bounce back or will it be more bearish? While Bitcoin has been moving downwards after reaching the all-time high, Ethereum has been moving upwards and is reaching an all-time high. Bitcoin hit 47 for a second and it just shot right back up, but it did touch 47. I said I don't think it's gonna go below 47. I did say that, I don't think it will. It did touch 47 right here, like literally touched it, and then shot right back up. Experts are saying that if it does break 47, it can go to 42. That's the next level of support that it has. I don't really think it's gonna go below 47. Remember, it's all FUD right now being created so that the institutions can buy in at a cheaper price. And during this dip, Solana kept going up. It's been 45% for the week went up. It kept going up, it's a monster. The reason why, it can do 65,000 transactions per second. What else was going up during this? Pancake swap. During this whole dump, Pancake Swap just kept steady and now it's going up. A lot of people are using Pancake Swap. Pancake Swap was actually the number one trending search on Google, passing COVID. A lot of people are getting emails from Coinbase that they can begin staking their Ethereum. Ethereum 2.0 isn't actually out, but Coinbase did have a wait list. The wait list is now over for some people. You can stake your Ethereum. Do you have to do anything different? Is it a separate thing you have to purchase? Nah, none of that. All that it is is an upgrade. It's an upgrade for the network. You don't have to do anything for it to be 2.0. It just is. You can stake it though on Coinbase. So Moon Rats, you get 6% APR. Yup! So what does this mean for Ethereum? It means that it's gonna have a lot of support now. So once you stake it, you start gaining interest on it. You can't take it out until 2.0 is actually out if you wanted to take it out. So a lot of people are gonna stake it now and it's gonna drive the price up. That's why it's going up. Literally, Ethereum 2.0 came and saved the day. Everything started going up as soon as Coinbase started sending out those emails. I think we're headed upwards from here. I heard a lot of YouTubers yapping about 42K, 43 so They're spreading FUD too to get more views. Uh, but here at Recap Crypto, we moon rats, we say it how it is. Ethereum itself can actually pass Bitcoin's price. Not the market cap, not the actual market cap, but they're saying that it can actually pass up Bitcoin's price. Now, I could see that happening. I could see the price of Ethereum just passing Bitcoin for a brief moment in history, but then Bitcoin would eventually. Ethereum is moving to proof of stake. It used to be proof of work. What's proof of work? Proof of work describes a system that requires a non-insignificant but feasible amount of effort in order to deter frivolous or malicious uses of computing power, such as sending spam emails or launching denial of service attacks. So proof of work requires the network to provide evidence that you have a computational power. So proof of work is where it's solving the algorithms and doing all that. The proof of stake concept states that a person can validate block transactions according to how many coins they hold. So you're gonna stake your Ethereum and you're gonna gain interest on it. Basically you're loaning it out and you're gonna get interest for it. Like what credit card companies do. You're gonna be your own credit card company. Yup! A lot of people ask me, what else do I stake? Stake an egg, stack an eggs? One of the ones that I stake is Algorand. I'm in Algorand. I've been in it for a while. I have it stacked on Coinbase and I'm getting 6% interest on this. Algorand is great. I've been in it for a while. With these things, the earlier you get in, you have a chance for your future to be just making passive income. So that means free cheese. Another one that I stake also is Cosmos. I believe this is undervalued. This should be a lot higher than it is. Just no one really knows about this. I mean, Cosmos, the internet of blockchains. I, I've been stacking this for a while. This one's great. This is a top-notch one. This one, I would just, this is a long hold. So Cosmos, I love it. Also this, I've been stacking on OKCoin, STX. I picked this up at 70 cents. It hit, it was, I think it hit $3 over, let's see. It did, it. now it's two. Yeah, I mean, it hit 275. I mean, I, as, it, as it went up, I'm getting interest. I'm actually getting rewarded in Bitcoin. They're paying me in Bitcoin. These are the kinds of things that I like to buy. Is I like to get them early. I like to stack them so that I can get interest on them. So right now, everything is on an upward trend. This was a crazy week for cryptos. Venmo allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin on it. They're accepting cryptocurrencies. 
Venmo is owned by PayPal. These are all bullish signs. This past few days has been FUD to drive the market down so that the institutions can buy in at a cheaper price. That's all that this is. That's all that it was. Later this year, everyone's going to have FOMO that they did not get in and everything is going to skyrocket. Bitcoin is your best bet against inflation. Like Mario, there is Wario. Like gold, there is Bitcoin. It's that simple. You need it. It's common sense. That's all I got for you today. I'll see you tomorrow, moon rats. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Drop a comment below. See you later, moon rats.